want to stay away from Hello, I'm Karina Bennett for Swarovski Sparkles Television. We're at 522 West 21st Street for the Radarte Fashion Show. Yes, it's New York Fashion Week, Autumn Winter 09, and we're here to see how the dynamic duo uses crystallized Swarovski elements in their collection. Um, I'm friends with Kate and Laura. I think what they do is amazing, so I'm just here to support them. Cool. So, are you a fashion fan? Um, I'm a middling fashion fan. Yeah, I appreciate it. That's fun. Yeah. And what do you like to see in women's garments? Is there anything that you think is really sexy on a woman? Um, what do I like to see on women? I don't know. Um, I like things that are feminine. Maybe, maybe not too feminine. Um, I don't know. And since you know Kate and Laura, how would you say that their style has developed over the years? I've actually only known them for about a year, so I haven't really been following their line for a long time. Um, I just think what they do is is so artistic and, and so expressive and fascinating. Um, and they're such creative, incredible individuals. So. Have you had a chance to see any of the new collection? Is this your I've first? seen a couple of photos. Laura sent me a, a few photos. so. That's very cool. Yeah, and it's exciting. What do you think the use of crystal in the pieces? Is it over the top or is it something you think is attractive? Are they using crystal? Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. Oh, we'll have to see. Yeah. So are you pro-crystal? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for Thanks taking a lot. time. I appreciate it. All right. Take care. Thank you. Hello, we're here with Diane Van Furstenberg. Thank you so much for taking the time with us today. Can you tell us what you're hoping for in this collection? Well, this collection is always great because these girls are so talented, so I'm excited to be here. Excellent, and I hear you're friends with Nadia Swarovski. I love Nadia. She, is, she shines as much as her crystal. Excellent, and there's going to be a lot of crystal in this collection today. What do you think about the use of crystal in the I office? love anything that shines. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm such a huge fan of Rodarte from their very first collection and I just think they're one of the most brilliant new designers. I mean, I wouldn't even say that they're that new anymore, but I just think they've like kind of taken the fashion world by storm and they're just they're just brilliantly talented girls and they're so humble and and, and that's just always so nice to see. They're amazing. Excellent. And um, are you going to be looking for pieces to dress particular people today? Always. Always. <laughs> it's a constant like rotating thing in my head, like what's next, what's coming, who's, who's wearing that, what am I using that for? And last question, um, what do you think crystal represents in contemporary fashion? What do you think it, it adds to a piece? Glamour. Full on glamour. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I'm with Mila Jovovich here at the Radarte Fashion Show. Can you tell us what you think about the use of crystal in your piece? Hi. How are you? I'm so good. How are you? Oh, great, thank you. Can't wait to see the show. As a fashion designer yourself, what are you looking forward to in this new collection? Well, I mean, Laura and Kate are just such amazing visionary girls, and they always have been. So I'm just so excited to see, you know, what they're going to bring out this time. And they're, they're so skillful. I mean, really, technically, they uh, have so much quality in their work, and they've got this real geometric romanticism about them that I've always loved and admired. So I'm just really interested. You know, they're so modern but soft and, and feminine at the same time. So. You know, they're they're perfect for the modern woman. Excellent. And what do you think crystals add to a garment? What do you think it says in contemporary fashion? Well, it takes it from the ordinary into the extraordinary. Always, you know, crystals. Uh, they create glamour. You know, every girl loves to sparkle. So, you know, anytime you add some crystals into the mix, girls feel better about themselves. I think. <laughs> do you see yourself adding crystals in some of your garments in the future? Definitely. I think crystals are, are very are very important, you know, for red carpet events, for, you know, just uh, any kind of event that you need to go to that you want to add some glamour to, so definitely. Well, we'll see if we can get you some crystals. Thank 
Thank you. I would love that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Can you tell us a little bit about your new collection? Yeah, um, I think the collection was re really about kind of pe the idea of piecing together different elements. So really the inspiration when we first started was an order, uh, Frankenstein, an artist like Gordon Madden Clark, who, Rachel White, Reed. Rachel White Reed, these people that investigated this kind of, you know, a complete structure that was either decayed or falling apart or constructed. So really the collection in a simple way was just about piecing together different elements and so we really worked a lot with um, anything that you could think of that for us kind of had a connotation with like Frankenstein, we used a lot of leather, but then the marbling came out of just, you know, when you the think of it. You know, what's in yeah. the house from, you know, plywood to marble to stone to copper piping, to insulation, to foiling, different things that you would feel like you would see crumble apart if you know, a house were to break down. Yeah. And how do the crystals fit into this theme that you're talking about? Well, I think that just, you know, for us it's kind of like when investigating something that seemed very rough um, in terms of like a lot of, if we did a print was based off kind of a weird gravel or, you know, the, even the marbling, like, you know, instead of doing it, we kind of did it in colors that came across as beautiful, but there was an oddity to the color choice that went subtle. together. I think too, um, a lot of the times that we would end up using it or wanting to use it, was we would create these palettes of marbling and then um, they were very subtle in their tone. There'd be a lot of grays and, and white and then, or the green and white and it would be very delicate. And then all of a sudden you would have all this patching and you would need, it's like immediately needs it. Like, and I feel like uh, when we use Swarovski, that's kind of the way we, we just work kind of with a free hand. I mean, I think it in some ways functions um, in terms of just like shading and depth that just helps add light yeah. to the piece that we're working on, especially, Maybe you know, we created with skins with this too. Yeah. I feel like it was like finding ways to create subtle texture. So if we had fabrics that were bumpy or like the, the leather was wrinkled, then all of a sudden we create a section of the stomach that looked like skin or, um, or something that looked like a scale. And I think that was interesting to us as well. Excellent. And I hear that you guys are going to be designing the dress for Nadia Swarovski for the CDFA Awards. Is that right? Yeah, we have to go get working on it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> how, how are you going to use crystals in that design? I'm sure she's going to want some crystals in that. Oh, yeah. Well, well, I think just whenever we design anything, it's just the natural process yeah. of what we do. So we just make something up and it just comes out of our minds. I mean, it's hard to explain, you know. It's just, we never map, we've never mapped any crystal or anything we've used, we've never mapped out. And we usually work a lot from sketching. But the idea of mapping out a pattern or sending something to be beaded, we've never had that done. So mm -hmm. we just kind of do it. Free. We just like lay them on the on a piece of white paper and then pick out what we're gonna do. Well, and, and it's <laughs> about combining the colors. Yeah. And when when we do it, there will be like uh, you know, if you use green, you use twenty greens. Yeah. Or the you know we're excessive you know. about yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And how long have you worked with Sarovsky? Well, God, they must be like we've worked with them on the last. They've supported Six us from our shows. really early shows, oh, wow. shows, which is amazing for us Six because shows. you know we're young and independent, and it's really every season it's hard to make a show happen. Yeah. And so the fact that anyone that would support us like that is really incredible. And then we get to work creatively with them. It's like the best combination you can have. And it's actually, I'm sure, like what they're doing is, you know, they help so many people that way. So it's really. Rad. So as young designers, it's really important to have people supporting you to create your artistic vision. Well, yeah, because That's people kind of forget, way. like, when we're doing it, I'm like, God, people don't really realize, I don't think sometimes, what how these pieces are being made. You know, it's like four people working on this whole show. We wow. have to, like, stay up all night, you know, we're in our studio, we don't have... This isn't like, everything is done by Laura and I. It's, all, it's just it's like, it's, of love. it's small. So it's yeah. nice, like the fact that we have any support like that, it makes, I would say, tremendous difference. And what is it like to work together as sisters? Oh, it's so fun. I mean, I don't know, I can't imagine anything different. We've yeah, we just don't know anything else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. We're just running out of time. That's okay. great. Thank you so much. Thanks. We're wrapping up here at the Rodarte Fashion Show. Thanks so much for joining us here at Swarovski Sparkles Television and New York Fashion Week.